So 2022 is the year for calendar applications, in my opinion. The calendar market is definitely due for a big shakeup, and I'm going to overview why that is and a few of the players that are looking to get an eye in on the market this year. Now, as I've said since for a while, since Woven Dark, which I think was, was the successor of Sunrise, I've been definitely keen for a calendar application for a client to grow into a mass market tool. And it will be really interesting to see if 2022 can deliver that. And there are quite a few options on the market. Now, before we begin and dive into that, our sponsor today is Clockwise. Here's a little bit more about them. So this month's sponsor is Clockwise. Clockwise are doing some really interesting stuff in the market right now with artificial intelligence. And for those who are new to Clockwise, it's a smarter way to schedule that works for teams. Now, flexible meetings are a great feature allowing you to move meetings using AI to work for everyone and create blocks of time that are free in your day. Now, flexible meetings and clockwise help one-to-ones and find the most efficient time and fix conflicts. And you can choose which meetings are flexible and set preferences for how flexible they are. Now, clockwise actually state they run up to 1 million calendar permutations per team to create the best possible schedule for everyone. Imagine a supercomputer playing Tetris to put flexible meetings into the best possible place based on your preferences. We do that every day to unlock time and help foster a healthier way of work. Now, there's also focus time. It's another experience in clockwise helping you to set a goal for focus time every week. As you can know, this can be a huge lifesaver to those deep focus sessions during the work week. And Clockwise will block any two plus hour slot in your calendar as focus time and even help quiet the noise by snoozing notifications in Slack and keeping you in task by syncing with Asana. Now, over 10,000 organizations run on Clockwise, including Reddit, Atlassian, Pinterest, and Netflix. And it's great to have them on as a sponsor. You can check out the link in the description below. So let's start with the why. Now, numerous applications stand alone against the likes of Google Calendar, Microsoft's Calendar and Apple Calendar, and they present alternatives to that experience, normally using that experience as a base for them to build off of, presenting a cleaner look or even a set of specific features that present alternative ways to manage your calendar. Like, for example, Woven in the past had a better way to manage meetings and to be able to bring everything together in one experience. And Sunrise had a beautiful design that brought in more of your social and your sort of uh, collaborative calendar. And like most applications, they tend to clean up the look and upgrade their layout. So this is why I think calendar applications haven't in particular been uh, a big priority. And that's because they don't typically make much money. As you can imagine, people tend to invest a lot of money in to-do list applications and also note-taking applications, typically because, for example, you tend to be adding more tasks, more projects, more file uploads to a project or task manager. And you're also looking to upload, for example, a lot of notes, documents, and files to note-takers. And people typically associate what they can input to an output. And that's why calendar applications, in my opinion, tend to go neglected as a alternative and as a paid solution. Now, obviously we've had brilliant tools like Fantastical for a while. And as you can imagine, that's been really predominant in the market, but it's really opening up to a new market that has a few uh, paid options and different ways of doing things. So let's look at some of the alternatives. So here's a few that I've got my eyes on in 2022, and I'll be mentioning with each of them a specific feature that makes them a little bit different. Now, of course, you can find them all linked in the description below, but as you can imagine, all very early days and some of them even still currently in beta. So to start, I want to kick off with Cron Calendar. Now, this is a fairly new application on the market and it's still in early access and it is only available on Apple and Windows. However, it provides you with a really clean, beautiful design. And this is what I think this application does really well above some of the others. It does have a command bar and it does present some availability features for planning meetings, but it's definitely the design and look that make this application stunning compared to some of the alternatives. 
Next up is Magical. Now Magical have been wanting to change the calendar experience for a while. And as you can imagine, it's something that they believe can be done with teams. So this is much more of a team experience, but essentially what they want to do is centralize your calendar so that you can take team meeting notes alongside it. Sort of like combining Notion and Google Calendar in one experience, but with a nice clean aesthetic. Next up is Daybridge. And to be honest, I was initially really excited about what Daybridge can bring. As you can imagine, I think it's closest to what a Sunrise alternative could be. And it's a very social and collaborative calendar, meaning it brings in like things like your location and also things like collaborative with other people's calendar. So Daybridge, which is currently still in alpha, provides a great Sunrise alternative. It looks very much like Sunrise, helping you bring in from other experiences, connecting your calendar to things like your email, and also be a bit more social in terms of what aspects of life you're focusing on. And they're really trying to bring this to life inside the application. Now, I was definitely initially excited about this application. And to be honest, I still am uh, when it comes public re-release, but it's been in beta for quite a while now. I'd really love to see it out in the wild and in people's palms. Next up is another one that I'm yet to fully check out, but it's called VimCal and it's tempting to be the superhuman for calendar. Now its specific feature is definitely its speed. With the command bar and the speed and function of this calendar, they're charging $15 a month for something that they believe is a, a, the fastest calendar experience on the market. Now they do have a really nice user interface and it is set to continue to be one of the faster options out there. But it's also great to see this command focused application that helps you to save time with your calendar. Next up is Rise, and this is yet to be released too, but it really will focus on scheduling engine, helping you to find smaller pockets inside of your calendar for focus time and to be able to improve existing experiences that may already be in your calendar, which is something quite popular in the market and other applications like Clockwise, our sponsor, are focusing on too. Now, Amy is another one. I'm not sure I'm pronouncing it right, but it's really focusing on personal calendar management. This calendar really focuses on the time blocking and task aspects, allowing you to bring in some of your tasks and time block some focus out during the day. And one thing that all of these calendars are doing is trying to put more attention on the calendar Whereas in the last few years, a lot of attention has been on the to-do list application. Some other alternatives include HyperCal and AtomCal. And there are a few more calendar applications that are drawing to my attention as the days go by. And I expect in the next year, we're gonna see even more come out of the woodwork and potentially be solutions. Now it is really interesting to see all of these alternatives come up at once. And it's definitely something that I think people have noticed that the calendar market has been neglected. Obviously, there are some great solutions out there already, but I think there's that initial push to be a bit more premium in the calendar market and present solutions that are potentially a little bit more expensive, but present a design more specific feature, more schedule oriented approach to managing your calendar. So hopefully this was an interesting overview of some of the calendar applications in the market and how, in my opinion, I think they'll shake up 2022. Let me know in the comments below whether one of these has interested you or what your current calendar application situation is. It'd be honestly great to hear. I think all of the wide variety of, of opinions will be really interesting to know. Anyway, folks, I just want to say a big, big thank you and I'll talk to you all very soon. Cheerio.